All right, Dom, a little uh, a little different fight week feels for you this week, isn't it? Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about the thrombosis and the blood clots and you just being kind of grateful for everything. So is it is it nice to be back at media day? Is it nice to, to have all these things going again? Yeah, it's really nice to be back. Uh, it's great to be at the media day, um, seeing the fans on the street. It's been a good week so far, so another great day to be great. Dustin Jacoby was in here earlier, and um, he said he's not he's not quite sure what to expect from you this week. He says, you know, we could see the Dom that we saw in the Yuri fight. We could see the Dom that we saw in the in the John Jones fight. So, I mean, without giving too much away, how do you think this one plays out against them? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm Dom now. You know, it's. I, I understand where he's coming from, where it'd be definitely hard to prepare for me because my last four fights, I've come out a completely different fighter. Um, and yeah, this fight, I'm going to come out a completely different fighter again, so we'll see what happens. And he, uh, he said some interesting things about the light heavyweight division. He said, you know, losing, you feel like you're at the lowest of lows, but then you go and you see how your opponent does their next fight, and it could completely change your outlook on the division. Like realistically you could be one or two fights away from a big a big fight or possibly a title shot um because he talked about he talked about how Menafield beat him but then he went out and he lost to Carlos Olberg and now Carlos Olberg is one fight away from a title shot so when you see things like that I mean does it give you hope that hey I, I can be that close as well to, to getting right back to where I was hey man as long as I wake up there's always hope you know Every day that you get an opportunity to compete, every day that you're here, there's always hope. Um, and to your point, the UFC's light heavyweight division is very performance-based. Um, and I have the pedigree to get me back to the top, you know, or pretty much anyone in the division has the opportunity You put a couple together. But it's one of the hardest divisions in terms of one punch and it's over. You know, it's not like the other divisions where you could take a bunch of strikes and stay in it, you know. Um, it's closer to one punch in this division, so it makes it harder to string together a few. I was thinking about this the other day, actually. I was like, man, I put together six in a row in the UFC's light heavyweight division. That's, that's pretty wild, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm right back to it. I'm right back to that, I guess, style of fighter, so that's what to answer your original question, first question, that's what Dustin was asking, and that's what he's going to get. Uh, how's uh, how's the training camp been? I mean, I've seen you getting work in with Curtis Blades. What other what other sort of guys have you brought in for this camp? Oh man, I've been working with a lot of a lot of big guys. Uh, Jared Vandera, um, he's very very skilled. He's very big. <laughs> he has about like eighty three inch reach. Curtis also has eighty something inch reach. Um, I've worked with wrestlers. I've worked with all kinds of different guys, different body styles. Um, just me getting to be a complete fighter again. Why? Why specifically the big heavyweights? Because Dustin's big. <laughs> Dustin's not a little guy. Dustin's six three, you know, and he has pretty good reach. Um, so prepare for the worst, hope for the best. And you t you talked to me again yesterday. You said. Um a friend of yours, he said before he he left you. You know, every time he would he would tell you, you know, be good. What what does that mean to you? It means be good. You know, be good in everything. Be good to your friends. Be good to your family. Be good at what you do. Take pride in who you are. You know, be good. And rest in peace, Frank Conti. And yeah, man. Good. He was one of the best best dudes I knew. And we lost him too soon, but. Be good was his motto, and I've carried that along with me. And how important is that to you to the, just just the fact that you can't take anything for granted and to not only enjoy fighting but to enjoy life outside of fighting? You know, you said you're into into the dirt bikes, and you know you've got you've got your um, your other half as well. So how important is that? I mean, this is only a fraction of who we are, and if you let fighting be your everything. You lose a fight and your life feels like nothing. It's important to have balance in other aspects of your life to where the outcome doesn't matter, you know? Um, 
win or lose, I gave my best performance, and the people I love still love me. My family still loves me. My fiance still loves me. My dirt bike is still going to be there for me. You know, it's it's there's many aspects of life, and it it's easy, especially in the UFC, to like hyper focus on this and make it your everything. But it's this isn't the only aspect of life, and that's important to be able to separate and. I think it makes performing a lot easier. Now you're you're always going to be tied to John Jones, obviously because of that title fight. But how important is it for you to establish yourself to sort of this new generation of fans that are coming up in MMA? If you win, you're a hero. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> win. That that's what this fight is about for me. It's about winning, performing. And winning, that, that's all I care about. It's not about a knockout. It's not about this or that. It's about winning. That's it. When you say performing, will you be satisfied with with a decision, or is it strictly like finish or bust? No, it's win or bust for me. <laughs> it's, and it's not bust. I mean, I wouldn't say it's bust. It's just it's part of growing. Um, well, I think a big difference between me and almost everybody else in the division or in the UFC is all my losses have happened in the UFC at the highest level against world champions, basically. You know, so everybody's seen my growing pains happen. A lot of guys get in the UFC, they already have a few losses. You know, they, they got to work out the kinks before they, you know, got to the, the biggest show. For me, it's happening in front of everybody's eyes. And I'm fine with that. But that's just the reality of the situation. It's it's not bust for me. It's just growing. And I know it's it's obviously down the road, but you've seen Alex Ferreira. You've seen his style. I've trained with him. My how, last did that, camp how, did, was, how did that go? My last camp was with Alex. How did that go? It went well. He's a good dude. It's a good team. Glover's Glover's a good man. Can you give us any details? Did you guys get some sparring together? How did that we, go? We sparred every week. Multiple times. I'm excited about the future. Leave it at that. I'm excited to fight Dustin Jacoby. (laughs) I respect that, brother. I respect that. Hey, brother. Um, I just have a couple. Uh, First one is uh, you obviously beat Jared Cannonier um, once before in uh, 2018. Uh, He's headlining this weekend. How do you view his fight? And uh, is that a guy you can kind of look to? Uh, he went down weight classes, had a couple stumbles along the way, but is now um, main eventing, getting back to where you want to be? Um, I'm just happy for him. <laughs> I don't really know how to put it another way. He's he's done very well for himself. He's a very strong competitor. I remember fighting Jared uh, leading up to the fight, and I was like, man, this guy's the real deal. Like. Extremely fast, extremely hard puncher, and I was really focusing on my boxing for that fight, um, and it paid off. But in terms of like his success and going down, we're completely different people. You know, he's a little bit shorter than I am, so he could cut the weight a little easier. Um, honestly, I've never thought about going 85s ever. Uh, but yeah. Happy for him. It's freaking awesome. He's main eventing. Get to see him. I seen him in the other room a minute ago. So, yeah. Um, for this fight against Dustin, uh, kickboxer, uh, that, but a different kind of style, even though it's uh, still striking based, of course. Um, what did you see in him in uh, film? That obviously, without disclosing too much, but... Uh, what did you what did you kind of see with him when you were watching tape for this? So the biggest takeaways I I get away from watching Dustin on film, excuse me, is uh he's extremely durable. And he's not gonna buy he's not a guy you're gonna be able to put away easily. Um he's athletic, he moves well, he has good feet. Um yeah, he's his pressure is constant. Um, he likes to come on strong in the second half of a fight. That's kind of what I, the main takeaway is he comes on strong at the end. So if we make it that far, I need to be ready, 
you know, to s stay on my P's and Q's because that's when he capitalizes on his opponent's mistakes. Best of luck. Thank you. She one more. Um, how big? How big of a role has like, as far as your comeback to the UFC? How big of a role has like faith played in it for you? Oh, it's it's everything, right? I mean, faith is without faith, what do you got? Without it's hope. It's it's. For me, it's been really understanding earthly values versus godly values, you know, taking care of our fellow man, being a good person, um, services, uh, family, <laughs> respect. I mean, there's so much that faith has helped me with going, coming back because it it's, could be easy to go to the dark. It's very tempting. Uh, the devil is waiting for you to get weak so he could take you and lead you down his path. Um, but with faith, you could stay strong, you could stay in the light, and you could continue to be good. Is there anything that scares you anymore? Uh, just heights. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm actually terrified of heights. I think that's why I like to climb mountains on my dirt bike and face my fear. You know, it's facing the fear. There's nothing like facing the fear. I guess going into the octagon, you always have a, that fear. It keeps you sharp, but you face it, and it feels so good. And um, it was an interesting post this morning. I, I asked Dustin Jacoby about this as well. Uh, Jamal Hill made a post this morning, and he was kind of upset at Alex Pereira taunting him after the, the knockout that happened at UFC 300. He said, listen, I came to Brazil. Um, I was respectful to your guy when I beat him, and I, I kind of didn't like the way you handled it after after we had fought. Mm. How do you how do you handle trash talk at this point in your career? I mean, do you want me to comment on that, or do you want me to just both? Uh, a little bit okay. of both. Uh, so for Jamal, that's a tough. He's in a tough spot. You know, it's it, it's not. In my opinion, not cool to celebrate over your opponent's body. You know, it's not very nice. But it's his fight, so it's not about being nice. Um, he, he's in a tough spot. Uh, Alex is very well liked. Glover is extremely well liked. All he can do, in my opinion, is just be yourself, man. Keep doing your own thing. Like, you don't have to say, hey, man, you shouldn't do this to me. I would never do this to you. Like, just. Continue to be a good person, man. You don't have to say, "Hey, you're a bad person," and you know, and I don't want fans to like you anymore. Or wh whatever. I don't know what he's his his objective is, right? Um, but in my opinion, and as far as I've gone in my career, and I've seen how the fans could go up and down, and how everything is, all you could do is be you and live your life how you're going to live it, and. If somebody's going to do something to you, then, you know, just keep pushing, man. Keep getting better. Never let it happen again. That's that's the only advice I could give him. And then uh, last one, brother. How excited are you to uh, to fight in front of the fans? Oh, man, I can't wait. I, just, I can't wait. I can't wait just to fight again, to perform again. It, the fans, oh, the good old mob, you know. Gladiator days, the mob. I, I love it. I love being part of the mob. I love going to the events and being in the mob. I love how the mob reacts to everything. You know, I com competition, man, at the highest level. This is, there's nothing in the world that beats this.